Hello! I'm coming to you from a very familiar position. My couch, my living room, the exact same location that I appeared in this forum or a very similar forum two years ago, uh, 2018, when I presented my paper Seeing Female Readers, Reading Female Readers, Making Meta Readers, Montgomery as Depictor and Creator of Scholars. I'm really impressed with myself that I remembered that whole thing. Okay, but this is where I was in 2018, at home, presenting via video, and wishing so much that I could be on Prince Edward Island with all of you, having an ale at the Gahan, and looking at lupins, and talking about books, and talking about quilting, and sharing so many wonderful memories of Ella Montgomery and Prince Edward Island. And once again, we are in this position, only now we're all in it together in 2020, sitting at home and wishing that we could be on Prince Edward Island, sharing all of those wonderful things together. But I'm glad to have the opportunity to at least share another video with you all and say hello remotely in my pajama pants. And um, today I want to talk just a little bit about the project that that 2018 essay gave rise to, and that is The World of Ella Montgomery and Her Fans, or the LMM Story Project. We're also calling it the LM Montgomery Story Project. We have a few working titles working. Uh, but basically, based on what I've heard was a favorable response to that presentation. I wasn't there, so I don't know. But thank you if the response was favorable. Uh, and thank you for everything that has arisen since then. Uh, Kate Scarth, head of the Ella Montgomery Institute, and I have created a website to collect people's Ella Montgomery origin stories. I'm going to do the air quotes just that once. Um, which is the term that I used in the 2018 essay to discuss the stories that we as Montgomery scholars tell one another about how we first discovered Ella Montgomery's work, how we first fell in love with it, or knew that we wanted to read more, do more, create things based on it, in my case, scholarly essays, and also my own fiction. Um, for many of you, perhaps artwork or uh, craft projects or writing of your own, or oral storytelling, which I'm also a tremendous fan of. Um, of which I am a tremendous fan. Whatever it is that is your personal connection to Ella Montgomery, we would welcome your sharing that on our webpage with the eventual goal of creating an additional webpage and a book to discuss the trends that Kate and I see in the stories, the commonalities, the things that we all share or that many of us share as Montgomery fans, and in general, what we think story seems to do for our lives, how it helps enrich our experience on this planet as individuals and as communities. I was lucky enough to be in the room when Trina gave that talk back in 2018, and there was a serious buzz in the room, as many of you will remember. People were really excited about this idea of Ella Montgomery origin stories. And so as Trina said, Montgomery fans and scholars and readers were already sharing their Montgomery stories informally. But then Julie Sellers, who teaches at Benedictine College, said, wouldn't it be great if people could share their stories more formally. So that's when Trina and I got together and the world of Ella Montgomery and her fans was born. This project was born. So something that really attracted me to this project is just thinking about the enduring appeal, the enduring resonance of Montgomery's writing and legacy that seems to transcend time and place. I'd already been thinking um, more about my own uh, attraction to Montgomery's writing. And something I'd recently realized is how much uh, the childhood summers that I spent in New Brunswick visiting my dad's family were seen through Anne's eyes. So I grew up in Newfoundland. It's called The Rock. It is definitely not the gentle landscape of Anne's Prince Edward Island. But southern New Brunswick, the lower St. John River Valley, 
was getting closer. It had green rolling hills, sparkling water. I had a kindred spirit there. We had a cottage that was white with green trim. So it was a world of friendship, of community, of beauty, of nature that I really did see through Anne's eyes, I realize now. And of course, as the chair of Ellen Montgomery Studies, I get to speak with so many of you. I get to read your work. And so, you know, I have theories as an academic of some of the reasons why Montgomery's work continues to resonate around the world. But what I thought was so great about Trina's presentation and then the project that came out of it is that it would allow us to dig a bit deeper and ask fans, readers, and scholars themselves what appealed to them about Ellen Montgomery's world, how they first encountered that world, how that world shaped them. And something that I really love about this project is that we're collecting Montgomery stories to then share them. So it's really a project by fans and readers and scholars for fans, readers and scholars. The world of Ellen Montgomery includes many things. It includes her own fiction and poetry and scrapbooks and journals. It also includes the many adaptations and translations of her work in various media. But importantly, the world of Ellen Montgomery includes people. It includes you, your stories and your communities. So for example, a love of nature and place, the power of community and friendship are all important features of Montgomery's own writing, but they also characterize her fandom and her readership. So for example, Ella Montgomery scholars and others look forward to visiting PEI every two years for the Ella Montgomery Institute conference. It includes people who grew up reading or watching Ella Montgomery with friends and family. It includes the camaraderie that's created over on social media, um, on Instagram, for example, with the hashtag, Insta uh, the hashtag Instagram. The world of Ella Montgomery includes all of you and you help create, shape, and expand that world. And we really hope that you'll share with us your part of the world of L.M. Montgomery. So it is with all of that in mind that we ask you to please share your L.M. Montgomery origin stories with us. We are so interested in reading them, hearing them. Um, you do have the option to record them visually or via audio, if that is your preference. You can share artwork with us. We want to hear and see all things Montgomery from Montgomery fans, from the people that love her work best and know it best, because we all know that nobody comes to this conference and gets away with anything, because every fan knows everything. It is one of the most best informed conferences that I have ever been to in my lifetime and dearly hope that I will be able to return again soon. So please, in the meantime, share all your Montgomery related creations and tales with us. We look forward to hearing them and we look forward to sharing them back with you in new and exciting forms. Thank you so much. Again, I wish I could be there with all of you, as I know you wish as well. Let's look forward to 2022. Thank you.